Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and today we are watching a game on the Centurion Action X. The first time I've ever showed this tank on my channel, and it's been a long time since I've ever played this tank. And yesterday I thought, let's play this tank. Um, why I didn't upload yesterday is because I had a car exam. Luckily I passed it. I didn't get my license yet, but that exam is yet to come. But now that that is out of the way, I still wanted to put up some content of course on the channel. First time I've showed the Action X, what you need to know about this tier 10 British medium tank. It has got 10 degrees of gun depression, one of the best 105mm guns in the game. It is very accurate, it aims very quickly and uh, it has a decent DPM which is really good. Also, as you guys know, this tank was a replacement for the FV4202 when it was still at tier 10. This tank, in my opinion, is a far better tank to place at tier 10. It is a lot faster than the FTV4202 was. And uh, it pretty much keeps all of the characteristics that that tank had. It, it pretty much is a better tank. So, as you can see, we're on steps. And we have uh, got a pretty good matchup on our hands. There aren't that many tier 10 tanks on either side. Uh... One tank we have to watch out for is the enemy FP4202P, who is a very good player, and as we will see, we will meet him in this game. But um, now behind me we have to take a look, as you can see the T10 on my team, who is not the best player ever, says to me, follow me, I'm gonna go um, and make an aggressive play. In my opinion, this is the worst thing you could do at the moment, because I don't know if that guy can read this map, but look at this. There are four enemy tanks there at the place where that T10 is rushing towards and he expects me to come after him. Well first of all this is just a uh, crazy uh, play in my opinion. I think about running away but then I think okay I can't leave this guy alone. So I'm thinking about uh, maybe putting in a shot if I can, wherever I can. Maybe the enemy makes a mistake. But as you can see I don't really know what that guy was thinking. But I can't go after him because I am one of the only T10 tanks on the team. And if I die, we've got a pretty uh, big chance of losing this game. So as you can see, I want to support the T10. The T10 is of course never going to survive this. But that's his own fault. Now I see that my team is coming in to back me and the T10 up. So this is the moment where I think, okay, we're going to have to um, get more into this game. These guys are in a... Less favorable matchup, uh, matchup, ma less favorable position for us than I am. I want to put the shot into the T125, but it ends up as a disaster. The, the IS-3 shoots me right in the front of the tank, as you can see. And the hull armor of this tank isn't great. The turret is, though, so that's why I'm going hull down to take shots at my opponents here. And using the great gun depression. So, we are in a much favorable position than the enemy. We can shoot down on those tanks. Can shoot right through the turret of the the ripper pattern there and this is3 is um, in a very tricky position for himself i can go hold down on him and i can just shoot him to his side something that the enemy team uh yeah, that this is3 didn't think about really well so just going to pick this part pick this guy apart The killing shot doesn't go how I wanted though, I plant it right into the space armor and it doesn't penetrate unfortunately. Ice 3 and the T125 are still alive. As you can see, luckily the T125 gets hit by an arty splash. Which helps, of course. So, now it's time to go on and kill these guys. To see if I can kill the sh T-5, no, of course it doesn't. The tank is good as hell at the moment and of course I don't penetrate this of the tank weak spot. The ice 3 is fired here. I don't really see it right at the moment. Then I decide, okay, let's take a shot and of course it bounces because how much penetration does this tank get? 268. <laughs> That's also a really good thing about this tank. 268 millimeters of penetration with APCR ammo as standard which is really nice. Really like that. APCR ammo is really nice to have standard. So as you can see we won this flank, but as you can see the enemy tanks have broken through the other flank. So what my plan was at this moment is to try and put the enemy team who are sitting here in the crossfire and to try and kill the artillery. I want to go past here and after here in the rails. So I'm going to load a hash round as you can see to hopefully kill the enemy artillery in one shot. There's the enemy fe 2 on 5 b It's a 2 on 5 b what am I saying? The fe 4 2 Going to put a try and hash shot into his side, but luckily, unfortunately, I mean, it doesn't penetrate. And l unfortunately for me as well, the enemy artillery did read the map and he fled for me. 
Luckily, we do manage to put a shot into the FE4 202P. That's a good result, of course. He, he manages to run away, though. Don't try and put another shot on him. But unfortunately, he gets unspotted. I put a blind shot in there. It looked like the shell disappeared, but it doesn't look like the shell did any damage to him. So, there's the artillery. I'm right in the open. I want to put one shot at him, but then immediately start moving. I want to try and avoid this shot as well as I can. But, uh, oh. Luckily, it only does 128 damage. I have no idea if it was a splash. Probably was. But it, it, it sounded like it hit my tank directly. Maybe that is just a replay bug. I don't really know. But now as you can see we're in a pretty sticky situation. The enemy tank, if the enemy have got one tank more than we have. I get spotted and I proxy spot the FE4202. FE so okay, I can't let this guy run away. Oh, side shot on the IS-7. I will gladly take that. That's a really important shot. Luckily I make it. FE4202 puts a shot into me, but I can't let this guy run away. I'm in the tier 10 tank and he's in the tier 8 tank after all. So I'm going to have to take this guy down. The 1390 on my team is going to help me out as well. He's going to flank him. Of course, I didn't really need help against this guy. But I'm going to take the kill anyway. So now there's this Walker Bulldog. We can't see the outline because of a replay bug. But I'm going to aim a shot right into his turret as you can see. And now the Walker Bulldog is going held down. And now the Walker Bulldog is going to have a little bit of luck. I'm going to shoot at his turret. I hit him but it only damages his viewports. At least it seems like it. Doesn't matter, we can aim in another shot. And of course it misses, which is really unfortunate. Luckily the Walker Bulldog gets taken out. So as the IS-7 crests the ridge there and there's somebody in the cap, it is very probable that the IS-7 is in the capture circle. And as we can see the E3 and the E5 have been spotted for the last time on the other side of the map. So it's almost no doubt that the IS-7 is in the capture circle. And as you can see, it's also last being spotted there. But as you can see, the cap siren stopped. So it is very likely that he went out of the cap circle. I quickly want to peek here to see if the E5 and the E3 have arrived yet. Doesn't look like it. Now I want to peek on this side of the ridge to see if I can spot the IS-7 who went out of the cap. Maybe he went this way. We will not know for sure until we spot him, of course. We don't spot him. So I want to try and keep the vision going. I peek again, doesn't look like he's there yet, see if he comes thinking, okay let's peek out over this ridge again, see if the E5 and E3 have arrived yet, and there's the E3, he's driving directly at the capture circle, I've got a side armor right now to see if I can crest the ridge quickly enough to put a shot on his side, no, I snapshot, the shot doesn't go into his side armor. So as you can see this T54 is a good player as well, he's left alive with me, we're going to uh, have some really good plays as you can see. the the. The T-54, as you can see, immediately reacts to the situation and the E-5 gets spotted right there. So what we want to do now is I want to take out this E-5, of course, first. Let's see if we can put a side into him. Because of replay bug, we can't see the outline, but I'm going to take a shot at the side of the turret. He uh, turned his turret to shoot the 3090, but the 3090 luckily takes him out. So now that the E-5 is dead and the E-3 is aiming at me, the T-54 is immediately reacting to the situation. He's going to flank the E-3. What I was doing there, I was hoping that uh, the E-3 would turn his tank for me to track him. Very smartly, the E-3 doesn't do so. And the I-7 manages to put a shot into the side of my turret. Which is well have played, of course. I've loaded some heat shells now. Because, yeah, well, I can't really penetrate these tanks reliably. And I can't expose myself for too long over these ridges. Although the turret of this tank is good, it is not impenetrable. So as we can see now, I-7 has fired, the T-54 made the E-3 turn, so I'm going to put a shot into the side of the E-3 now that I know that the I-7 is not reloaded yet. Now the I-7 is going to peek out again. Again I've got heat loaded and I'm going to put a second one into his upper plate. As he is angling, that increases the angle of his right upper plate for me and I can put a, right, a shot through there. Now the E-3 is dead and I've got the killing blow here on the I-7. There we go guys, very solid game for the Centurion Action 10. Let's take a look at some post-game statistics. Ace Tanker, as we can see guys, was really happy to pick that up in the Centurion Action X. My first one ever, together with a crap load of tokens and a high caliber. And next up something every tier 10 player would be proud of. 6k damage with a grand total of 1200 base experience points. Also big shout out to the T54 that helped me that well in the end. And thanks for carrying the game with me. Guys, that was today's video on World of Tanks showing the Centurion Action X. I hope you liked this video. 
If you did, then please consider leaving a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time guys. Bye.